Major goal for the U.S. women's national soccer team has been reached, equal pay. The landmark settlement with the U.S. Soccer Federation comes after a long legal fight. Now, under this deal, players will receive millions of dollars. And as WBZ sports director Steve Burton shows us the long-awaited promise of equal pay into the future. No confetti this time, but the U.S. women's national soccer team just scored one of its biggest victories. The team and the U.S. Soccer Federation have now agreed to a $24 million settlement. In 2019, after their fourth World Cup victory, the players filed the equal pay discrimination lawsuit. It is a huge win for us, for women's sports, for women in general. Um, and it's a moment that we can all celebrate right now. The settlement includes back pay and equal pay with the men's team in the future, including World Cup bonuses. The two sides had already agreed on improved working conditions. The types of uh, charter flights that we're taking, it's the hotels that we're staying in, it's our support staff. The team says the settlement helps repair its relationship with the U.S. Soccer Federation and credits its new president, Sidney Paolo Cohn a former player who took over in 2020. For me, it's about moving forward together and really focusing on what's important in growing the game both here at home and across the world. For star player Megan Rapino, the settlement means the athletes no longer have to split their focus. The players coming up next will have a much better ability to just play. And with that comes, you know, them probably being way better <laughs> than we ever were. That's, that's kind of the goal. Now, part of the settlement will established a fund to help players in their post-soccer careers and other charitable efforts designed to help grow the support for women. The agreement is contingent on a new collective bargaining agreement with the unions for both the men and women's teams. And Rita and Paula, back it to you. It really is a game changer, no pun intended, Steve, that women now don't, shouldn't feel just lucky to be there. And right? you want to, yeah, you want to see this going forward. And all those. Equal all for everyone. Coming up. Steve Burton, thanks so much. You got it.